Hello everybody, welcome back. Oh my glasses are so dirty. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today we're going to be unboxing the Morphe Me for this month, which is August. Before we hop into the video, there will be a link down below to enter into our 20k giveaway, which I'm so excited about. So if you guys would like to win a Modern Renaissance palette and Subculture palette, that'll be linked down below for you. Now I will have to let you guys know that I did already film this video once yesterday, but it turned out real weird. I was very blue. I'm blue. I don't know what was going on with the lighting or anything, so I just decided to film another unboxing for you guys. So I'm not going to be very surprised, but I did still want to show you guys what I got for this month. So the Morphe Me subscription is a $19.99 a month subscription, and inside the subscription you are going to get 30 plus dollars worth of Morphe brushes. Now every month you're going to receive a different set of brushes. You'll never get the same brushes twice, or at least that is what they claim. And so far, all the months I've had it, I've received brushes from different lines, like they have a billion different lines of brushes. And so far every set that I have received has been from a different line, which I like. You get to like try a whole bunch of things. So every single month your subscription will come in a little bubble mailer like this. So for the month of August we only received three brushes, and I think this is the fewest number of brushes we have received so far but they still are supposed to add up to at least $30 in value. So this line here, which I guess is the rose gold line, which y'all know I love because I love my rose gold, um, must be a little bit more expensive than like some of the other lines that we have received. So the first brush that we received this month is the R7, and this is the pointed powder brush. This retails for $15.99 on the Morphe site. Now all the brushes that we did receive this month are natural bristle brushes. I cannot believe I said that without messing it up. So if you're someone who just sticks with synthetic brushes, um, uh, this might not be for you. I don't know if I've ever actually tried a natural bristle brush. See, see, see. I don't know if I ever personally have tried a natural bristle brush before. But these are incredibly soft to the touch. Oh, we got a little shedding right there. And shedding is actually something that I've noticed with a couple of my other Morphe brushes that I've received from the subscription. Uh, especially a couple of the eye brushes, I noticed like quite a bit of fallout from some of those. And I think that's something that other people have noticed as well. Some of them haven't shed at all, and some of them have. So I guess it's kind of like a toss up if it's going to shed or not, but this brush is incredibly soft and I think it'll be great for sweeping on powder, sweeping off powder, that kind of stuff. All right, next up we have the R39, which is a tapered blending brush, and um, it's just your average typical little blending brush. Very, very soft. It is kind of like pinched here, so it isn't like a round blender. It's a tapered blender, as they said, and I seem to be blanking on the price because I looked these up yesterday and of course I forgot since then. I believe this is $5.99 though, but I'll put the uh, price on the screen here uh, in case I mess up because that is very likely. And then last up we have the R14, which is a round contouring brush. I've never tried a contouring brush that is round before, but it is very, very soft. Um, if I don't like it for contour, I'm sure I could use it for blush or something else, but I will definitely give it a go for my powder contour. And this one, if memory serves me correctly, which it probably doesn't, is $10.99 on the website. So I believe that all of these would retail for around $33, but if you're ordering from the website, you have to factor in like taxes and shipping and all that kind of stuff. So it is a deal. You are getting some money off. And I think from my math I did yesterday, if it is correct at all, that even if you use one of the many discount codes available to you on YouTube for Morphe. It still wouldn't give you like that low of a value for these three brushes, I believe. So is it a good deal? Technically, yes, the value is there. You are saving money, but the only thing is you don't get to pick your brushes. Um, if you're a person like me who never shops for brushes, that's okay because I really just, I never buy them. But if you're a person who already has like a brush collection or you just need like a specific brush, um, I don't really think the value is there for you because they could send you, you know, an entire bag full of contour brushes or eye brushes when you need a blush brush. You know, you really don't get to pick and choose what you want, unfortunately. I do believe they have like something on their website where you can like swap out your brushes or you can like withhold a bag if you don't want it for that month. So it is nice they give you options that way. So I would say this would probably be more valuable for somebody who is just starting like a brush collection and kind of wants to see what's out there, test the waters. However, you are only getting Morphe brushes and you can't really, you know, see what else is out there if you're just getting Morphe brushes. One thing I will note about these brushes is they are incredibly light. Like this feels like nothing in my hand. If I compare them to these three brushes right here, which I just got from Real Techniques, um, these are a little bit more expensive to be honest, especially for Real Techniques brushes. Their brushes aren't usually this expensive, but these are very, very nice 
brushes. This is the B04, and then we have the B03 here, and we have the B02. But I can just really tell like a huge difference in weights of these brushes. These are quite heavy, where these are quite light. Some people really might like light brushes though, and prefer not to have like a heavy brush. For me personally, I like a little bit more weight and density to my brushes, but these are incredibly soft. So for me this month, I do think it was a decent deal. I do wish they had just a little bit more weight to them and like maybe a little bit higher quality handle just to make them feel a little bit more like valuable I guess but they are pretty brushes and they are very soft so I will definitely be getting use out of these. Alright so that is all I have for this Morphe Me unboxing. There will be a link down below if you guys want to sign up but that is not an affiliate link. I do not have a discount code. Anyway that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. There will be a link below to our 20k giveaway where you can enter to win a modern renaissance palette and a subculture palette and all sorts of other things if you guys would like to enter into that. And other than that I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!